Good evening, women of scouting. I am honored to be among you. How I wish we were together tonight. Being a woman of scouting means everything to me. My attachment is not only to the scouting movement, but to its people, both women and men. You have changed my life in an integral way over the past 12 years. Like many military families, I moved around a lot as a kid. I moved 13 times from birth to 17, and I actually lived in one house for five years. And my family was neither military nor professional scouters. I grew up with no significant role models and no one to teach me authentic leadership. As a child, I never had a leader, a role model, someone to call on when a leadership trait was needed. Well, maybe my big brother, but he was barely four years older than me and he was learning for himself how to bring beauty out of the ashes of our childhood. In fact, the role models that he and I shared came from our church families. But when you move around a lot, those two are hard to hang on to. In my mid-twenties, I married. I created a new me. I became an administrative assistant, and I still didn't have excellent role models in my life. But I had found a few new people to attach to that saw the good in me and developed my skills over time. I truly believe I was destined for scouting. When I was in my mid-30s, I worked for a bank CEO that was the president of the local scouting council. He was integral, honest, and fair with me. He never attempted to be disrespectful and showed me honor in all of his dealings. That was something new for me, and for the first time I had a role model that I could learn from, and I did. He convinced me that I had worth. He encouraged me to get my education, and I did. And within 10 years, I had become a professional corporate trainer and a project manager. I rose from administrative assistant to managing level positions, and I believe it was his confidence in me that led me to that place in my career. And that was my first encounter with scouting. Unfortunately, I divorced when I was that time and moved to Dallas, where my professional skills allowed me to gain a lucrative job and for the first time in my life, I was supporting myself. Fast forward to 2008, I was contacted by a headhunter interested in my skills, me. I didn't have an Ivy League background, no editorial stints in college, no stellar resume, but it was good enough to attract Deborah Kendrew. Deb was the product delivery manager for Boy Scouts of America's national office. At first, I turned her interview request down. After a couple of requests, I agreed to interview with her, and Deb and I hit it off from the start. And to this day, every October 20th, I celebrate my scouting birthday. I was hired to manage training for all of the technology products created by the national office. I wrote trainings for ScoutNet, unit commissioner tools, and tour permits, to name a few. I left the tech training department in 2010 and went on to become a scouting professional. That summer, I joined the Circle 10 Council at Wood Badge at Philmont Scout Reservation, where I proudly received the honor of being a beaver, the first in the order of Wood Badge. I received my commission and I was shortly after promoted to program delivery department where I participated in rewriting NYLT, Scout Leader Trainings, Wood Badge, and Trainer's Edge. I wrote the master trainer course that was facilitated at Philmont for three summers as my Wood Badge ticket. Alongside some of the greatest women I've ever met in my life, I was making a difference. In 2012, I married Don, and we began our lives together working not far down the hall from each other. And in 2013, we moved to New Hampshire, and then here to Michigan in 2017. And what did I learn from all of this? I learned how to be a leader. Those leaders taught me how to be a leader. I worked a lot alongside some amazing women who were both national volunteers and scouting professionals, like Deb Kendry, Ellie Morrison, Carol McCarthy, Lucia Cronin, Janet Griffin, Leanne LeBlanc, and Lisa Young. And you know what I had? 
I finally had role models. These were the ones on my path. These were the ones that led my way. The ones who fought hard to open the path for our young girls and women. They broke the glass ceiling for women like you and me in scouting. You know them too. They're in your council, they just have different names. Like Marianne Samancic, Corey Groth, Jen Betts, Sarah Whitgen, and Marilyn Costigan, and all of you that we honor here tonight. Because of you and them, women are now scout executives, national commissioners, and ladies our girls can be Eagle Scouts. And you can thank the likes of Mary Ann and Ellie, Carol and Lucia, Sarah, Leanne and Jen, and so many more women in scouting. I thank them and I thank you. Most lay people see scouting as an outdoors extracurricular activity for kids. They associate camping, badges and uniforms. Heck, most folks think we look geeky when we walk into the grocery store after a scout meeting still wearing our uniforms, right? And yet you and I, we wear those uniforms proudly. Why? Because scouting is not just for women and men. In fact, scout leaders have remained in the program long after their own young person has succeeded in the program. Many of you have not had children in the program for years. Why do you stay? Because scouting is a leadership program, not an extracurricular activity because scouting is alive and breathing, because scouting can't die if we don't let it, because we are a family and one whose loyalty is only strengthened by times of trouble. How do we pay it forward? How do we keep scouting alive for the next generation and those to come? We encourage more youth, both women and men, to join the program, to stay in the program, and to finish well and then by your example and mine, we teach them to stay in the program as adult leaders to rear the next century of Scouts BSA. Why? Because it's our honor, because it's our duty, and it's our privilege to say we are the Boy Scouts of America. And with the slang that my daddy would have slung, and we ain't going nowhere. God bless you women of Scouting. God bless the Boy Scouts of America, and God bless the USA. Thank you. Good night.